I'm Debbie Can here with another question in topic 11.3 capacitance. What we have here is uh, an RC timing circuit. The idea here is that uh, voltage and current are supplied by the source, but uh, the current has to push its way through this resistor before it can be uh, absorbed into the capacitor. So the resistor limits the rate at which uh, charges flow in, helping to limit the rate at which uh, the voltage can build up and the charge can build up on the capacitor. And from this we, we get a timing circuit. The time that it takes for the capacitor to charge gets set by the capacity of the capacitor and the resistance limiting the current into the capacitor. Uh, so we have a student that builds this circuit but finds that it's charging too quickly for her needs. Uh, she happens to have a spare capacitor that has identical properties to the one that's already in the circuit. We want to know how can she use this capacitor to increase the charge time of the circuit. Uh, the idea here, what we're going to do, is add that extra capacitor to the circuit in parallel. What this does effectively is double the surface area of capacitor that we have. The first capacitor had a certain surface area, this one has the same surface area. Now we have twice as much surface area to deposit charge onto. And what this is going to do is double the capacity of the combined network of capacitors uh, from the capacity of a single capacitor. Because the capacity of the system is now double, it's going to take twice as long to fill up the network of two capacitors. Uh, and that's going to increase the amount of time that it takes to charge the circuit. The next question, though, is how long will it take now uh, for, the compar for the pair of the capacitors to charge to 9 volts? So the idea is that uh, w when we start, uh, the capacitor is uncharged and so has 0 volts across it. But as charge starts to build up, uh, the voltage increases until it matches the voltage of the source. So the voltage here at the capacitor is going to start at 0 and increase uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to 10. How long is it going to take to reach 9 volts? Uh, to answer this question, the first thing we need to find is the time constant for this circuit, which is the resistance times the capacitance of the RC circuit. Uh, the question in, has a, a 5 kilo ohm resistor, and the first capacitor is 1 microfarad, which means that the net capacity of this system, the net capacitance of this system, excuse me, is 2 microfarads, or the, the sum of the two capacitors. So overall the time constant is going to be 5 kilovolts times 2 microfarads, or uh, uh, 10 milliseconds. So the time constant is measured in seconds. The time constant actually means uh, the time that it's going to take for the capacitor to charge roughly to 37% of capacity. Uh, but that's not what the question wanted. The question wanted to know how long is it going to take for the pair of capacitors to charge to 9 volts, or 90% of capacity. Right, so, so to answer that, we're going to use our relationship between uh, the voltage at any time the original voltage, and time. So that's uh, an arbitrary time, and this is our time constant. Now, now this equation is actually for discharging. This would be the original voltage, uh, and this would be the voltage at some other time in the future, and we would expect it to be an exponential decay curve. What we're going to do is we're going to flip this on its side, and we're going to talk about an exponential charging curve. And we're going to say that the time it takes for an identical system to discharge from 10 volts down to 1 volt, so this time, is the same as the time it takes for our system to charge from 0 volts up to 9 volts. Uh, just so that we can use the equation that's in our data booklet. Uh, so we'll say that in an identical system, if we discharge from 10 volts down to 1 volt, how much time is that going to take? Our time constant is uh, 10 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. 
Uh, and what we have now is an equation in one variable, so we just need to rearrange to solve. Uh, we'll divide both sides by 10, and we'll get 0 0.1 equals e to the negative t on 10 times 10 to the negative 3. Take the natural log of both sides. It gives us the natural log of 0 0.1 equals negative t on 10 times 10 to the negative 3. Uh, from here, we'll multiply by both sides by negative 10 times 10 to the negative 3, which gives us uh, t equals negative 10 times 10 to the negative 3 times the natural log of 0 0.1. You can punch that into your calculator, and what you get is 0 0.023 seconds. All right, uh, last part. Uh, at that time, so at the time when uh, the capacitors are charged to 9 volts, how much energy will the pair of capacitors store? Uh, for this, we, we have an equation for the energy stored in a capacitor. That's 1 half CV squared. Uh, we could treat each capacitor separately, or we could just combine them into a single equivalent capacitor, which is what I'm going to do here. Uh, we know their combined capacitance is 2 microfarads, and the voltage to which they're charged at that time is 9 volts. Uh, plug that into your calculator, and you get 81 uh, times 10 to the negative 6 joules or uh, 81 microjoules.